So, I'm going to finish this week's of um, recordings by um, um, installing applications that you would use um, on other um, desktops and computers. Um, so, the main reason for switching to Ubuntu for use um, as a desktop or a workstation is to replace um, Windows or Mac OS X. Um, so what we want to do is um, show you how to install applications that you would use on those platforms and show you how easy it is to uh, use on this platform. So um, most of the time, um, uh, especially nowadays, most uh, applications are web-based. So we have seen how to install um, Google Chrome and um, Firefox is installed by default when you install Ubuntu 20.04. So um, you can, you can um, start off using those straight away and access your online programs that way. So, um, as you've seen before, I've installed uh, Sublime Text to take notes. And uh, that is a native application on this operating system. Uh, but if you're switching between operating system um, the files have to uh, move with you. So you probably want to use a um, online note taken service and so you can access your notes via the web quite easily. So one of the um, online note-taking service that I recommend, which is free for personal use, is um, Evernote. So you can have a look at that. Um, so on some platform, it even has an app, but otherwise you can access it via the uh, web interface. So, um, Let's go on and have a look at what Evernote is. So let's log in and see what it's like. So uh, allow. So there it is. I mean, it's um, just like any web base. Application allows you to um, do all those things, so it's giving you some hints and help at the start. And you just create a new note, give it a title, and then start writing. So, pretty much. Um, So, um, yeah, so school is starting up pretty soon. Colleges and schools are reopening in September. Um, so most of those in the UK um, use Microsoft products. So what we're going to do next is install um, Teams. So we're going to search Teams for Linux and we're going to download and install that. Um, 
so um, teams is um, a, a communication pro and may, maybe um, this term you will be assigned um, tasks and lessons by uh, teams so um, that's given me here um, but it doesn't give me the download page so we'll do a download search download download teams Linux Okay, that looks most appropriate for uh, so well don't like this site at all. Too many adverts. So we'll um do another search. Surely um I've done this before. Let's go for the second hit. There you go. So again, we know we are Linux Debian 64 bit package that we need. So there it goes and download that. So obviously, um, Microsoft Word and uh, Excel can be or um, reachable by the web um, at uh, office.com and since you enrolled in your college you should be able to sign in with um, your um, username at college and uh, you'll get access to um, the set of um, Microsoft applications. So I'm just going to um, move that off and sign in. And uh, do do all the appropriate things to sign in. So here we go. Um, I've signed in, and um, it comes up and shows me all the applications I can use. including um, Word and so forth. So I'll just minimize um, that to heighten the content to be low. Um, so you see there, you, you can um, access to all these, depending on um, whether your college has access to these other applications or not. Uh, but most of them should be part of the Microsoft um, set of tools that um, your college or school can use. So, for example, um, Word, you can write Word documents and you can create um, Excel spreadsheets online. And remember, um, we have um, our LibreOffice um, set of tools d installed by default you want to so the spreadsheet is called LibreOffice Calc and when we work with these applications we can then export 
we can then export our work as a Microsoft compatible um, spreadsheet or Word document. So yeah, again, it's the place is a bit confusing down there instead. And um, there we go, Microsoft Excel format. We should be able to export. So um, then we can load it back up into uh, online and submit it. Um, so I'm just going to um, move that to one side and then show you how to um, install uh, Teams. And again, because this is a .dev file, we can um, just double click on the uh, package and install uh, and let it install. But um, since we've been covering command line actions, then I'll just quickly show you how you would do this on the command line. So again, installing anything, we need um, sudo to, to do it as a super user. So we'll sudo and we'll call up the Debian package installer give it the minus i switch to install and we just then give it the, the package we want to install. So we give it a password and away it goes. So um, yeah, there's, there's um, Lots of online tools now, so there's no no excuse um, in the sense that you're tied to the oper operating system um, your computer came with. You can move to Ubuntu and learn a bit of Linux while you're using um, the apps for college. So here, um, I want to show you. Um, a drawing, uh, um, drawing tool. So there is this install and um, gives you no feedback on how you would be able to open it and use it. But as we know, we can um, go to our application and look for Teams, and there it is. We um, open up Teams and again. It asks you to um, sign in uh, with your um, college account. So I'll do that uh, off screen. And uh, it's a bit weird and then it moves me to that screen. And then um, it opens up and you get to see um, all sorts of um, details about the teams you're in, the documents you can see. So um, I'm just going to um, move teams to my calendar so um, fewer details I need to hide but there it is um, now
So the only thing about Teams is your uh, you need just to configure your um, devices. So um, like some applications, they appear up on this um, menu at the top. So that's my on-screen uh, recorder. And this is the Teams itself. So if we right click on that, we can get to the settings and we can do various other things, for example. So if we do um, go to the settings, the important things you must configure is the devices here. So there we go, we, we, s we have to select the right devices and then um, we can actually uh, make a test call and you can see uh, it's got my webcam at the bottom there um, which I wasn't expecting but make sure that these are um, set to the um, right devices for you to be able to um, have an online meeting with someone or join a meeting with a group of people yeah so that's all I uh, have to say about Teams um, and I've covered um, Office oh yes so I was just going to show you um, a drawing pro uh, program called um, Draw.io and this is online um, and you can use it to um, draw and save diagrams to various places as you can see there but um, I use it a lot for example drawing network diagrams um, so it's got quite a number of uh, templates for you to use and it's very very uh, flexible and it's free to use so that's a uh, quite an important aspect so if we uh, go to network and click on a sample diagram we just we can see what that's all about so if I save um, in documents so uh, earlier it was asking me uh, where I would want to save my documents and I I chose um, uh, my uh, my computer so what happened there test uh, I have draw so so for some reason I have um, two documents but maybe that's why I had to uh, save it twice maybe I just double click on something so there you, there you go so you can open and draw um, yeah so you click on that and you get a diagram uh, a shape and then you can move it about and you can uh, link things up uh, where did that go there it is it's a bit hard to see with this um, template in the background so for example I can make two relationship between those two objects there and yeah very nice firewall uh, the internet the internet's a bit bigger than that so maybe we just make it a bit bigger uh, these are quite snazzy as if things are blowing up between each other but so get rid of that rubbish and uh, yeah and then we can just save or we can um, like most things we can export as an image um, as a uh, SVG uh, vector graphic um, format so we don't lose any detail yeah so um, that's it for this session we uh, 
or they are ready to uh, get our results and go to college using Linux. So all very, um, all very uh, well and good. So I'll see you next time. One thing I forgot to uh, show you is how to install a uh, VPN client so that you can get onto your college or university network so you can access um, their system uh, when you are on their system. Um, so one of the um, things that um, your college or university will um, show you is um, instructions of how to install the VPN. So you need to um, go online and search for the documentation and um, they will um, give you full instructions on how to do it. And um, it is possible to have a Linux um, VPN client. So um, we can use our Ubuntu um, laptop um, with our work. So um, if I follow my instructions, um, I should be able to install the VB and client by merely going to a web address and it um, prompt me prompt me to download the right application you can see there um, so tends to happen is that it will fail to kick off any sort of download and you will have to go and manually um, do this. So again, we are keep getting prompted. So yeah, that's completely wrong for Windows. So you get an XE downloaded here, so um, that's all very wrong. So that's the problem there. And what we need to do is find the uh, Linux binary, so we can download that and um, have it running on our desktop so we can um, connect to our VPN. So there we go, as you see there, you have to go through and select the right options before it allows you to download the Debian package here. And once that's downloaded, all very nice. We want to keep that and we want to run that. And we now have to uh, install a Debian package. And we can merely just click on it to open it up in um, Ubuntu Software Package Manager. And the way it goes and installs that. Yeah, it's done. So let's see how we would um, start that up. And you see there is an application that appears. So if we close this 
um, nothing happens. So what we do is we um, refresh our web page here. And now that's installed, we can open it as so. So that's as easy as it gets to uh, connecting to the network. And why you don't see prompts for username and password and so forth is because it's all connected to the fact that I'm using a browser, uh, Chrome, that has um, such details saved. Now earlier, I showed you how to use Office um, application via your um, um, institution. So that um, login there, um, there was an option to keep me logged in um, as I work. So that's why that is the case. Otherwise, when it needs your username and password, it will prompt you. Um, so, so now I can access uh, my school network um, quite easily when this is running in the background and it tells me um, how much data is going through so again a little technical detail on um, how this is set up uh, it's a uh, tunneled VPN so when you access um, systems that's on um, your institution's network it will only tr um, tunnel that traffic uh, to and from your institution. Otherwise, uh, any network, any other traffic, network traffic, for example, you do a Google on bbc.co.uk, uh, um, it won't go through your school um, institution's network because it can go directly via your connection from home. Um, and that's it, really. Um, I'll tack this recording on the end of uh, the previous one and uh, release it as soon as I can.